hello guys here is Shuli and you are welcome to my kitchen today I am going to show you how to make Diwali special Murmura Chewda Namkin that means spicy pop rice snack it's a very spicy and delicious snack that is made from pop rice and it's very easy to make and it's very popular in India during this Diwali festival so let's see this recipe here I have taken a pan and I have taken some cooking oil as you can see the quantity you can see that it's not so much and now we have to wait until the oil is medium hot and after that we have to deep fry some peanuts you may shallow fry them there is no problem and you may uh, fry them without oil also but now I am deep frying them I have taken one bowl of peanuts and now I will deep fry them uh, the heat is on medium it will take about 5 to 6 minutes to fry them on medium heat so let's wait and keep stirring this way and now they are done you should listen to the splitting sounds of the peanuts and we have to keep them stirring and let them split for 2 to 3 minutes and after that we will take them out now I am taking them out as you can see I am taking them into another bowl strain the oil properly and take them out and here are they now we have to fry some other things here I have got some corn flakes and they are raw corn flakes actually we actually call them makka poha in India so now we have to fry them they will be papri after frying so we have to fry them in a little quantity at a time because we have taken a small quantity of oil so let's fry them this way we have to stir them and fry them now I am taking them out into the same bowl of the peanuts in the same way I will fry some more popcorns and take them out into the same bowl they are also done I am taking them out this way you may fry as you need and here they are now we have to fry some dry coconuts here I have taken some dry coconuts and sliced them this way you may cut them according to your wish there is no problem now we have to fry them until a nice red color we have to keep them stirring this way so that they can be fried evenly and now they are done as you can see and now I am taking them out also into the same bowl of popcorn and peanuts and after that we have to remove some oil from the pan and make the quantity less as you can see I have done it and now I am adding half teaspoon of cumin seeds half teaspoon of mustard seeds one tablespoon of crushed coriander seeds one teaspoon of crushed fennel seeds and at the same time I will add some asafoetida here I have taken about half teaspoon of asafoetida now I am taking some finely chopped green chilies we have to make them crispy and now at the end of this process we will add some curry leaves we have to fry the curry leaves until they are crispy green chilies and curry leaves should be crispy and after that we will go for the next process keep the heat on the lowest and fry them and now green chilies and curry leaves are very nicely crispy so now we are adding the fried things this I am adding these fried things in the pan and now I will mix a little and now it's high time to add the murmura I mean pop rice you may call it pop rice or puffed rice as you wish and here I have taken 300 grams of pop rice and now we have to mix it with the other things after adding these murmuras we have to turn the heat off and after turning heat off we have to add some other spices so now 
I am mixing the murmura with the other things very nicely and I have turned the heat off and now I am adding 1 teaspoon of black salt. You may use regular salt instead but the black salt will give us a great taste. And now we have to add 1 teaspoon of chaat masala for a sourness. If you don't have chaat masala then you may add some dry mango powder. And now I am adding 1 teaspoon of red chilli powder. And here I am adding some powdered sugar. Here I am taking about 3 to 4 teaspoon of powdered sugar. Now we have to mix everything very properly with our spatula and after that our murmura chiura will be ready. We have not to turn the heat on again. We have to do this process without heat. Now I am mixing it properly. Now our murmura chiura is ready. Now we have to cool it down fully and after cooling down we have to store it in an airtight container. You may store and enjoy it for about a whole month. You have seen friends that it's a very simple and very easy recipe and it's very delicious to eat. Very delicious and very popular snack in India during this Diwali festival. So try this simple recipe at home and don't forget to let me know about your experience. Hit the like button friends if you really liked the video and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Hope to meet you in the next video. Happy Diwali. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye. Take care.